continuing uh, a tech on deck, we have Phil Nelson, our uh, TriCaster guy. But uh, um, and we should talk about what you're doing behind the scenes because you're running this uh, video switcher that switches cameras and uh, puts the lower thirds on and does all this fun stuff. You, you, uh, Tri New Tech, the company you work for, makes our uh, video gear that we use at Rackspace. So thank just, you very much. I'll just bring you with me everywhere. You can do all my intros. <laughs> but uh, the reason I have you on during my music show is you're a great musician. Well, thank you. And, and uh, you played at my party in January, and you had everybody dancing and having a good time. And I figure uh, we'll just fill in uh, uh, a little bit and have some fun. Sounds like a plan. On Tech on Deck, because that's part of what this is supposed to be. Right, Scott? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> well, I'm, should I just jump right in again? Yeah, go? so what kind of music do you play? Because this is your fun. This is not yeah. your business, right? You know, I jokingly tell people music is a great tax write-off. You know, to follow up what you and Rome were talking about, you know, my Spotify royalties can be counted in pennies. You know, because you get like a thousandth of a cent for every play. And so, you know, it, it, it's almost like the, the music playback is like a uh, marketing expense these days. Yeah. You know. But like a lot of tech people, uh, you're into music. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. A lot of programmers play music. Something about uh, being music a nerd. Music is math, dude. Yeah. Nerds unite with music, you know. You know, I, when, my kids, I made them all take piano because think about it. You're learning fractions when you learn music. Yeah. Four, four time. You know, whatever, you know. So it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. I used to play uh, saxophone in high school. Well, I haven't get played you bust out the sax and we'll wow. do a little Duran Duran Rio. You can play the saxophone. <laughs> so what are you going to play for us tonight? Um, I think you I'm got, gonna... well, what kind of music do you like to play? Because you were just on uh, stage in front of a couple thousand people or something. Yeah, I just did a show last weekend with Robert Earl Keen. Yeah. It was a 10,000 person show, which was a good show. Um, I did one. I opened up for him this week. And then two weeks ago, I opened up for Emily Robeson from the Dixie Chicks. So my goal is to just open for cool people. Yeah. You know, so I'm opening for Robert Scoble right yeah, here, baby. Yeah, baby, here on Check on Deck. And we're going to have Claire, if people are thinking uh, that our schedules all screwed up, it is. <laughs> That's the beauty of live is you just roll with it, You baby. know, we're here in Sun Valley with a ski resort right here and, uh, yep. you know, billionaires down the street. So, uh, yeah, let's have some fun. All right, so this is a song I wrote called In Your Arms, I'm Home. It's from a movie that just came out called The Adventures of Pepper and Paula. You can buy it right now on Amazon and at Walmart. And it was pretty cool because I got, they, had, they licensed like four of my songs for this movie. And they called me and were like, we need you to be on stage playing your songs. And they gave me a character name, so I'm Doc Dakota. And so I called the guys that I normally play with my band. And, and I'm like, guys, we get to be in a movie. Are you excited? And they were all excited. And we showed up on set. And they handed everyone in my band like burglar costumes. Yeah. And these guys looked at me like, we're going to kill you, Philip. <laughs> so uh, needless to say, I'm not real popular with my buddies that jam with me because they had to wear these prison outfits. And I got to wear just like a cowboy hat and a Western shirt. But hey, I'm Dog Dakota. What do you say? Very but this cool. is a song. It's called In Your Arms, I'm Home. Yay. All right, you ready? Yeah. miles from San Antonio This long road can't end fast enough Many miles behind me I can't remember my own song. Isn't that bad? I was thinking about, you know, being here and I just forgot my lyrics. So let's do take two. This is how professional I am, Robert. Ready? Take two. It's like American Idol. Yeah, except I get to start over. <laughs> You know, I still can't remember the lyrics, even though I've restarted. It's so sad. Here we go. Take two. Sixty miles from San Antonio. This long road can't end fast enough. Many miles behind me, just a few to go. Living on the road can be so rough. In your arms, I'm home. There's no more perfect place for me to be. No matter where we are, just as long as you're here with me. In your arms, I'm home. Dawn is breaking as 
as I pull into the drive. House is dark, but it brings me to life. Crawl a bed beside you and feel your warmth. With you in this place, I just need some time. In your arms, I'm home. There's no more perfect place for me to be. No matter where we are, just as long as you're here with me. In your arms, I'm home. Cowboy boots, Robert Scoble. Right. <laughs> Laying here beside you, talking about the good times. Don't want this to ever end. Laying here beside you, talking about good times to come. Soon I'll see you again. Sixty miles from San Antonio. I don't like leaving you again. Few miles behind me and many more to go. I need to be with you again. In your arms I'm home. There's no more perfect place for me to be. No matter where we are, just as long as you're How, we don't know. Do we have our guest? Still working. Still working on it. So I'll do another song. Yeah. This is what I'm going to dedicate to Scott Jordan. Where is Scott? Hello. Scott, get Scott, over here. Scott, I'm going to play this. Yes. Come on, Scott. No, you, I, I'm, not, I'm not telling you I'm in love with you, Scott. Don't worry. But, you know, one of Scott and I, you know, Scott, Robert, and I are all friends, and we're also friends with Jim Louderback, and we were hanging out in Pacifica with Jim Louderback, and we were just out hanging out on Jim's patio playing music, and I played a song, and Scott just, it just kind of, you know, the beauty of music is it just sometimes just resonates with you. You know, it, it doesn't matter if you're a country fan or a hip-hop fan or a rock fan. Sometimes a lyric just really yeah, strikes, it, it strikes with you. Yeah, and it did. Uh, you know, we were out on, a, on a deck, another deck. I, I, uh, I don't even know if, we're, if it matters. You can hear, right? You can hear. Yeah, there you go. Um, so we were out on a deck, and I you know, here, was listening here. to Phillips. Uh, here, here, here. That? All right. there, there. All right. <laughs> listening to Phil. Ah. <laughs> um, listening to Phillips' song uh, play, and and I was traveling, and I, and when I travel, you know, I go away for a couple of weeks, and uh, I miss my wife. And yes. So um, you played this song without any knowledge of you know where my, where my headspace was, and. It really, it, it made me, it, I don't know, made me emotional, so. You know what, and I'm honored that you made your entire staff here at Scotty Vest. Oh my God. It, at a staff meeting, even though most of them didn't like it. But no, it's they a, like the music. Uh, yeah, 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 she liked it. All right, it, yeah. so this song is called Unwind Our Hearts. All right. You know, because really, as, as you said, you know, the world does try to unwind your heart, right? It does, it, you, know, it, it, you know, I've been married 20 years. What's wow. today, what's today? Today is July the 7th. 20 years ago today, I proposed to my wife. I'm going to high five you. 20 years ago at the Grateful Dead concert, I proposed to my wife. And, um, and yeah, and, and the last 20 years. Seriously, 20 years ago. So today. this song was written by a good friend of mine named Paul Sanchez from New Orleans. And it's on the South by Southwest for Japan album. So it was an album that I, I do not belong on. It's Ben Folds, Natasha Bedingfield. You know, um, did you get money when I when I bought that? You know, when you bought it, the Red Cross got one dollar. All right, because all the money goes to the Red Cross. So if you do like this song, go to the Red, go to SXSW for Japan, the number four, and download it. If I cry, if I cry, let's, let's yeah. If we have a fight, if we say some ugly things, that don't mean you weren't right. To say you'd wear my ring If marriage is a life 
Then born again we'll make our turn A husband and a wife Who'll help each other learn What I have to say Is to be prepared for life To want to tear us apart Cause the world is gonna try And unwind our hearts Then we start to dance I feel your legs against my legs I'm 17 again Trembling and afraid And then I feel your touch And suddenly I'm somewhere else If I give you chills and such You give me chills yourself What I have to say is to be prepared for life to want to tear us apart Cause the world is gonna try and unwind our hearts Angrily you wait I live my life on the road When I get home it's late You're sleeping and it's cold but here we are again I wrap myself around your waist We find each other then In heaven and in haste What I have to say Is to be prepared for life To want to tear us apart Cause the world is gonna Try and unwind our hearts Cause the world is gonna try and unwind our hearts. So I thought about you. Brother that was, Jordan. That was very For touching. Scott and his yeah. lovely bride. Yes. Very touching. Yeah, I mean, it's a great song. I mean, Paul Sanchez wrote it, and he's a very sweet guy, great singer songwriter, and, uh, you know, and fortunately, when I played it on the live show with Hanson and all those guys, he gave me the rights to distribute it and raise money for the Red Cross. So, nice. well, that was awesome. So, how are we doing on time? Do I need to fill another thirty-three yeah. minutes, or what, what's the? Oh, she dropped her computer. She's dead. Well, we're still working on it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna... Yeah. Come you know on. In. Sit down here, Scott. Come All on. Right. Let's have a party. This let's is turn the... this into a full party. Where's the Tech on deck party? And I'm not even drinking. You can drink. <laughs> Um, Bill's my designated drinker, by the way. You know what? I think we should bring the lovely Kate up to sing a song. Kate! <laughs> you know what? We need to steal her a mic. Um, Here. Can we steal Robert's mic? Here, no, 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 no. Here. We're going to steal the Scott. Kate! Kate mic. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because nobody can hear you. Yes. Okay. Is anybody gonna... still on Periscope? So Kate is one of the, the team members here at Scotty Vest, and she waited at the airport for me for half an hour, and I never showed up. So. It was literally like Three hours, okay, not half an hour, three hours. And she, she informed me that she is a Jewel fan. And I jokingly tell people I'm the only straight male Jewel fan in Texas. In fact, many times when I play this song live, my man card gets revoked. But hey, I love Jewel. I so think, I think after playing that song sitting next to me, your man card. My man card was revoked a long time ago. So let's do it. You want to you wanna play yeah. uh, You Were Meant For Me? I'm going to have my lyrics up so that I don't sound like a dummy. Do you want me to sing with you or do you want to sing? Let's see how it goes. All right, if you, if, if you elbow me, that means I need to kick in and start singing. All right. All right, here we go. A little jewel for you. I'm really not very good. Yeah, yeah, we're expecting greatness. Job depends on it. I'll sing harmonies with you on the chorus. I hear the clock. It's 6 a.m. Hold on. Let me, I, I, I messed up. You're off. All right, here we go. Ready? Hear the clock. It's 6 a.m. I feel so far from where I've been. I've got my eggs, got my pancakes, too. Got my maple syrup to everything but you. I break the yolks to make a smiley face. I kind of like it in my brand new place. I like 
Thoughts above the mirror don't leave your keys in the door. Never put wet towels on the floor anymore. Cause the dreams last so long, even if they're torn off. I know that you love me and to own you. Dude, we have crashed and burned. You were meant for me, and I. Mama, she was out for a walk. Cause she pulled a cup of coffee, but it didn't want to suck. So I picked up the paper, it was more bad news. My heart's being broken, and people being used. But I'm not caught in the pouring rain. I saw a movie, it just wasn't the same. Cause it was happy, oh, I was sad. It made me miss you. Oh, so bad, cuz dreams last for so long. Even after you're gone, I know that you love me, and soon I know you will see you were meant for me. And I was meant for you. Here comes the bridge. I go back. A musical interlude. So, here we go. So, Philip, we should I brush my teeth, uh, put the gap back uh, on. End up this section and go back to playing the videos. Okay. So, take a deep breath and a good look around. So we're getting ready to we're gonna wrap this part up. Tough crowd. So I'm we're glad go you got to, to witness this impromptu jam. And the one thing about impromptu jams is you can just stop playing a song whenever you feel like it. Yeah. So you saw that. Congratulations. So uh, are we going back to some uh, pre-edited vi uh, vid some videos, you some interviews? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go back to uh, videos because we uh, Claire is having some computer problems, and we'll uh, make an audible we'll and then uh, keep keep coming back. And if that doesn't work out, we'll be back at 8 o'clock with uh, Senior Vice President from Cisco, which is uh, pretty interesting. All and right. then more music and frivolity. Come Talk back. to your fans, Come Robert Goebel. We may sing full of blues. Well, I don't know if my mic is still on or whatever. So um, let's send this up and uh, get back to videos All right. for a second. Back to some videos. Bye. For those of you that are watching live on Ustream, enjoy some interviews that Robert has done from the road. Robert Scoble, yeah. the Robert from the Scoble. road. Thank you.